Good evening, <clears throat> Red Devil fans. Red Devil chemistry right here, right? Coach Scott, look, I got my hair out of a bun. Got quite the locks. So anyway, let's go ahead and finish up these word problems in dimensional analysis. Let's look and see what we got here. Every three times I clean my bedroom, my mother makes me an apple pie. So let's go ahead and write down one ratio. Uh, three cleans one pie so I clean my bedroom three times All right, nine times so that's enough to get things going here so I had nine cleans the ratio I've got is cleans per pie three pies actually so one pie every three cleans. All right, so there's my ratio. So I just got to do a little math. In fact, with this, I don't even have to do some serious math. I can cancel out the number of cleans. All right, and nine divided by three. Uh, let's see, what would that be? That would be, oh, three. So I get three pies off mom. I did a good job. Ooh, let's see this one. A chemistry teacher working at a golf camp during the summer found a very special liquid which caused him to slice the ball after ball into the water and it didn't bother him at all. I bet you I know what this liquid is. I may look it up here in a minute. He thought this was an important liquid to identify so he set out to determine its density. He found that a sample of the liquid had a mass equal to 455 golf balls. So 455 balls, that was the mass. All right, and occupied a volume of 620 cups, water cups. That's what it said. That would be the mass, that would be the volume that he obtained at the seventh hole. Each golf ball massed 50 grams So every golf is grams, 50 grams. And the water cups at the seventh hole of the golf course held 45 milliliters each. All right, so we're gonna have cups. One cup had 45 milliliters. What is the density of the unknown liquid? So I've gotta have density, of course, equals mass over volume. Now I've got the mass in golf balls and the volume in cups. So I'm going to go ahead and convert that to grams and uh, milliliters. So let's see how I do this. So I'm able to cancel out the golf balls. Good to go. And I'm able to factor out the cups. And that's going to leave me grams and milliliters. Let's do some math. So again, doing my calculator stuff, I got 455. I'm going to go ahead and went divided by 620. That number right there. Times 50 divided by 45. And I get 0 0.815. 0 0.815. That's what we'll use. Now I'm going to have a guess that 0.815 grams per milliliter is the density of ethanol ethanol which is a lubricant used on the golf course by a lot of adults of course you guys would never use that because you're underage and ethanol let's look that up see if I'm right now I'm just guessing I don't know yeah well let me get into Google hmm not good well anyway I'm betting you that is ethanol so let's see what we've got here okay a Germantown High School senior was applying to college and wondered how many applications she needed to see it. The counselor explained that since she made an excellent grade in chemistry, she would probably be accepted to one school out of every three. One school out of every three. One acceptance out of every three uh, uh, apply applications. So we'll say apply. 
she immediately realized that for each application she would have to write three essays. So one application, okay, one apply, and each essay would require two hours worth of work. So for every one essay, that equals two hours. So that would expend a lot of serious energy on her part. So for each hour of essay writing, she would use 500 calories. All right, and <clears throat> notice how I set these up so I can factor out those units. And she would, she could, which she could derive from her mother's apple pie. One apple pie equal a thousand calories. So how many times would she have to clean a room in order to gain acceptance to 10 colleges? All right, so let's go here. A thousand calories. All right. And she wants to get 10 acceptances. The number of pies for 10 acceptances. So let's see what we're going to do here. All right. She wants 10 acceptances. So we're going to go 10 accept. That's what she wants. Let's see. For every one acceptance, she has to do three applications. One application, she has to do three essays. Put a dot there, that means time. For every one essay, it takes her two hours. One hour of writing consumes 500 cows. All right, and one apple pie is 1,000 calories. And let's see what we've got. I think this will factor out what we need to do. Let's go ahead and cancel that out right there because we don't want to do that right now. I may check on the next video. Factor out that. I can factor out that. Factor out that. I can factor out that. And I can factor out calories. That's going to leave me the number of pi. Look at there. Probably should have ate a steak at the same time, but all right. So I got 10 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 500 divided by 1,000. I got 90 pies. So her poor mother is going to have to make 90 apple pies in order to have enough acceptances to go to college hopefully uh, paid for with a full ride scholarship because she made really good grades in chemistry so anyway here's coach scott uh done for the night let's see i got four and five to do here in just a minute so hopefully this will help and other than that peace out